Welcome, Rossi. Welcome, Christina. <laughs> this is going to be a very exciting match, I think. Oh, my goodness. I'm pretty excited about this one. Definitely, especially when you look at the stats and 
as I say, South Australia nine titles and Victoria six titles, going for their fourth successive. Truly amazing. What, what a game this is going to be. And how well sung by um, Joe Fanto there. Definitely. Very well sung. Definitely getting <laughs> I had no Karaoke idea. <laughs> yes. No idea who could see. <laughs> very, very well done indeed. <laughs> That's it, everybody's fired up big time. Such a huge lineup, Rossi. Such a huge lineup. I know. I'll These girls that. in both sides have achieved so much over the years. Well, that's it, especially after the ladies' final, South Australia and Victorian. So, couldn't ask for much better. And even the new players have, have achieved so much in this tournament. Percentage is looking great, even for their new players. That's it. I'm just amazed by the lineup. And there you have opening breaks. Great break by Linda Lanimer. Definitely. Such a steady player. Beautiful to watch, particularly under pressure. Yeah. We've got both both balls lined up pretty well here, so mm -hmm. what do you reckon? I'm not sure. It's so easy on the sideline, isn't it? Reds look like the way to go. I think so. Of course, on the furthest table, we have new player, Danny, Danny Julep. Yeah, that's also right. Also for Victoria. And a little birdie told me that her daughter Sierra is actually watching at home, so it's a bit it's so thrilling for her to see mum up there playing the first match. Pretty exciting. And we have another young player for the South Australians yes, in the uh, furthest table again. Young Taylor Mayer. I remember seeing, seeing Taylor, I think, for the, one of the first times in Adelaide in 2010. Oh, she was amazing. Yeah. Such a hot style of talent. Such a young age. Huge it's future, this girl. Yeah, it's great. Great for women's pool. Mm. Absolutely, and of course, on this for, on the closest table, we have Joyce Sullivan, who's, and I don't want to say she's a dinosaur because she's a, still gorgeous at her age, of course, but an absolute giant in this game, and still here and still promoting the sport. Another beautiful and steady player, I think. Inaugural Hall of Fame member. Really? Oh, yeah, there fabulous. you go. Well, that's news to me. Fabulous. Yeah, I think that was, that was done in, uh, I believe in Darwin 06 from memory. Really? Gee, I would have been there too. Yeah, that's a lovely pack. What a shot. Hey? Oh, what a shot. She has every opportunity now to take this frame. With this ball. It is under pressure, isn't it? I would have thought that she might have gone centre first. I was actually looking at that myself. Mm. Putting the centre ball there and yep. to come back come down the rail. That's what pressure does to you, doesn't it, Rossi? But if she can get this cut and secure that pocket, then that's also a winning shot. Absolutely. May need to kick, kick that red away from the black. Mm. 
Interesting. Beautiful pace. It was beautiful pace, yeah. She's got such a lovely connection. Definitely a favourite to watch in the finals. Very steady. Oh, most certainly. And obviously, being an ex-West Australian player, I have yes. a little bit of a... That's the right. The import, as they call her. Yes. There's been a bit of um, swapping and changing over the years. Because uh, Joy, Joy's... Joy was also former Victorian as well at some stage. That's, that's, yeah. that's correct, yes. This is a pressure shot. Going for the break. If she had the break, she would have had centre bag. That's looking Massive like a tight, shot. tight a tussle shot. up the top at the moment between the two newbies. She didn't quite get that red out as much as she wanted. Wanted to keep that across a little bit so yeah. she can take that in the other pocket. Some of the risks of the game. Precision definitely a must. Joy's one of the um, most, oh, I don't know, um, the most wonderful defenders in this game. She plays a wonderful defence game. But I have seen this lady pot out. Big shot, this one. Certainly a big moment for all of them being the first frames and sorry when I meant when I said defender I meant big defence player. Mm. Look at that. Hard. Oh, beautiful shot. Eh? Ladies eight ball has come such a long way. I first started playing. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I first started playing the sport in 97, attending the Nationals. Wow. Sneaker actually. Can't quite see how far that. Lovely. 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 So I think Linda was hoping for a thicker um, tap then with the wine. I think so, yeah. <laughs> To get the snooker, perhaps. Get the snooker, that's right. Come off the ball and just pace. Like tucked in there behind. Mm. Pace a little bit 
hard as well. So it looks like Ella is snookered up the top, top table, or not Ella, sorry, Taylor. She's definitely looking at that, especially with, especially with Danny still having those balls down on the line. Very nice play for a cover shot. It's hard to tell if there's a gap underneath that red, but we'll soon see if Danny can get a yellow under there. So that shot, which of course has produced a foul and two shots to Joy. Certainly unexpected. Yes. Generally a very steady player, Linda. First block to the red. Yes, the veteran comes through. So SA one zip. A long way to go. Certainly is. there unfortunately for Danny which has given yeah, it gives Taylor an opportunity yes a huge opportunity Danny's yes, still yes. got coverage on that pocket though so Taylor may have some difficulty with this with that last red that's down there oh she left the pocket open so Taylor opted for the defence shot and it's just over hit that red and of course now Danny left with the opportunity here. Massive opportunity to run this ball along the rail. Mm -hmm. She 
she'd have a the lovely pace. Mm -hmm. She'd have to go back for the same yellow, same pocket. Certainly. But Come on, Blacks. Go 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 pockets covered. She's looking at which option to take at the moment. All right. She's going to have to put some work on this black now, on this next ball, to get posy on the black. Yeah, without the, the opposite middle pocket's covered, so... Uh, she might, she'll yeah. have, to, have to bring it back to bring over into this middle pocket here. Mm -hmm. She might still opt to go to the top pocket, because there's a space between the cushion and the red, but I'm not sure if she had a look at that. Yeah, definitely going to bring the white back. Yep. She's opted to go that pocket. That's, that's a lovely one. Of course, she might prove me wrong and just double this blow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And now we have. Oh, so let's see. Very steady black. Beautiful black. Amazing. Yep. Under pressure. Well played. First nationals, first frame in a final. You gotta be happy with that. <laughs> and of course now we have Renata on this. So that's one. Renata Dalahunty. Such a beautiful area. shot. One very happy man. Well played by Renata. That was a lovely hit down there. Definitely one of the front runners for Ladies April. The promotion of the sport. Renata's nice. such a beautiful, steady player. Works that white ball well. Very, very inspiring to watch. Huge number of achievements. Almost a world title. That's right. 2011 <laughs> runner-up in the world world singles. That's right. The whole of Australia behind her. Played in the ladies singles final. Four out of the five years prior to this year. Amazing effort. Amazing. And winning two, yes? Winning two, runner-up in two. Mm -hmm. Playing against the current on, women's runner up, on, Colby. And at the moment, holding the highest stats for the ladies at this tournament this year. Just on 83%. It's absolutely outstanding. <laughs> it's a huge effort. And of course, just such a lovely lady too. Margie Gorski over on, on the table too. Mark Gorski. A, a legend. Come on, the Gorski! Amazing play. Come on, Margie! Come on, Come on. Wasn't able to be here for the first week. Come on, Colby! It's on massive stats for... For a first for nice few matches. Yes. <laughs> Sitting on 72, I think, 72, 73%. Yep. That's correct. <coughs> and another legend of the game, Elise. Elise Mavitt. Another ex-West Australian player. Yes. I think we're breeding pretty good over here. <laughs> 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 I didn't want to say that, Rossi. <laughs> 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 
but Elise Mabbitt also on high stats, second high stats at this tournament at the moment. And 2010 singles champion, 205 singles champion, 207, 1997 singles champion. She has achieved so much. Countless representations of the world to representing Australia. Opportunity here. Get that red out. I would have thought that she might have doubled that. It was almost a shot for nothing. And still get that same position. to make, maintain control of that pocket. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> these games are not always easy to read, these ones. Where no, that's strategic that's games. I've had to play a lot of tactical games this this season, <laughs> this year. I think I'm notorious for that at times. <laughs> <laughs> Not my best year this year. Both fighting for that pocket, yes. simply because that's where the black is. Right. I guess that's a lesson for those who are new to the sport, young ladies who are still new to the game, the black ball where it lands on the table after the break is generally where the main game is. Yeah, we've got a few comments coming through from, from the spectators watching wow. on the live stream. <laughs> Brett Rogers, yes, that certainly was a nice, nice block by Mrs. Dirk. <laughs> Jody Snowden down there. The absolute royalty of Australian women's pool playing today. Come on, Harry. Come on, and we believe that too. <coughs> <coughs> We have one um, viewer that said solish, solid finish, but Taylor should have had a crack. It's always easy to say that when you're not in the game. <laughs> At the table. That's <laughs> right. But Taylor is definitely um, very capable of having a, playing an out game, definitely. Huge yeah, potter, huge Some potter. Of, I'm not sure in the matches that, you, that your team played against, I know when, when we played against the South Australian team, it was so impressive. 
so impressive. Well played by Colby. One of the stars of women's pool for the future. And for now as well. Yes. Runner up in the ladies singles. Played so well to get there. First time having a crack at the ladies singles grand final. Fabulous effort. game for the SAs yeah. that takes them to 2-0. Or was it 2-1? 2-1. Kadri <laughs> from SA, we like to call her. She's had, had a very good tournament as well. She has, yes. Some very proud moments. Representing the Indigenous team. Ooh. Sue Coulthard was the first Indigenous lady to represent Australia at last year's World Championships. Huge effort. Massive. 1991-92, runner-up in the women's singles. At the national, first, Australian at Nationals. The Australian titles, first Fabulous. and second year. Yep. Playing for a start. She was one of the first lady players, too, to attend the Nationals. And so she's been around for a long time, although she took a big break and has just recently come back and is still playing great. <laughs> it's very good to see. It's a very proud moment on mm. Tuesday when we had the first ever Indigenous team play at the Australian titles. Yep compilation team, members from from all states mm -hmm. competing against the home state. I was very proud to be, have been a part of that as well, representing WA. How did they go, Rossi? They won. <laughs> Came down to the wire almost as well. Really? Yeah. My certainly was absolute fantastic match. <laughs> Level pegging all the way down to the last couple of frames. And they had gorgeous um, uniforms as well. Definitely. I wouldn't have minded swapping one of those. Getting one of those shirts. I've got one already. Have you? Yep. Lucky you. Yeah. Come on, Rio. Come on. Had a nice little 
ceremony prior to the match. Big Renata's opportunity here for Renata. Big opportunity. Almost a perfect angle. Push the white with top, come off the bottom rail, back up for the black centre bag. She's left herself just that little bit of angle. Oh, it's perfect. She doesn't get doesn't get caught on that bottom rail. Mm -hmm. As I said, not easy to predict. Not at all. <laughs> Took me by surprise, that one. <laughs> but still, an opportunity nonetheless. there. She might just bite the bullet and <coughs> decide she can go out here. Sue's. Sue's on the yellows at the top. Not the best position, but a difficult shot. Mm -hmm. She's done that well, left the guard. Well left. Nice move. Very good pace. Okay. 
Another great defense shot by Suze. It's easy to play off the rail Not at all. and get the shot that you want. Very well played. But I wouldn't have expected anything less from these two teams. It was always going to be tight. And they're, they're setting this game, to, this match to a good standard too. So, been an impressive game so far. It's never easy out there. Never easy. And all of these ladies are more than capable of plotting out. wondering about the gap under this yellow and looks like there's a gap there I think Sue might opt to play the top ball I think so also. We have the, or maybe not, the 2013 Women's Singles Champion. Under her. That's looking at first. McPherson as well, representing Australia last year. I remember seeing Mickey back in 2005, mm -hmm. Australian titles in Mantra. Yes, I think that was her first year, no? I think so. Mickey, I met Mickey for the first time in Mantra as well. And we actually had a dance off, Mickey and I did, at the nightclub there. 
It was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey and I both love to dance and karaoke, and she's a great lady. Absolutely. <laughs> she's quite a character. And of course, I lost. Yeah. Yes, she was too good for me. Too good. <laughs> Sue going for her last ball, set up on the black. Big opportunity to go out. Of course, that's always easy to say, Ross. Always easy always. to say. When you're standing on the outside. Missing a yellow up the top and setting up Jordan. Yep, setting the Vic lady now for an out. not quite getting the, posi the position that she wanted for the next shot. Lovely pace from Rio. Such a beautiful on, shot by Rio. She's been such an important player in this tournament and the playoff with SA earlier on, winning all of the fans, I believe. Quite few fortunate as they Several options this one here for Sue. Does she double? Does she cut into the top pocket or cut into the center bag? Which would you go, Rossi? I'd use my two shots. I'd bounce it off the cushion. Okay then. I forgot she had two shots. Well said. <laughs> <laughs> On the risk of going in off if she tries to cut it. That's a lovely hit. Fabulous. fact that they call their captains skipper because their uniforms look like sailor uniforms. Bit of a joke going on at the moment. <laughs> Love it though. That's the great thing about coming to these titles. Such a great atmosphere. Yeah. Fabulous. It's gone. Last over. This is it. Last day. Finals. That's it. Here in wonderful Perth. 
I'm loving it here because I'm a Darwinite. However, the Nationals is going to the Territory next year. So we'll be in Darwin. Certainly looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. My first Nationals was Darwin 2000. Wow. Remember it fondly. Beautiful warm weather. Mind you, our weather hasn't been too bad since I've been here. No, it hasn't. It's been quite nice. Had a bit of a tussle here with the girls in this pocket. Yes. Most unusual. <laughs> Most people can usually hear me all over the room. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. <laughs> a lot of yelling the last oh. week and a half. So have I been talking to myself this whole time? Probably. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> going on the down low with the voice because I tend to get a little over excited at times and yell a lot. <laughs> Which you do tend to do here. And certainly the last thing I want to do sitting in this position is, is make a little uh, make so a what's going on? loud noise at the wrong time. What's going on with this game Rossi? Are they checking for a total? Checking for a total. Lindell's, Lindell's played that very well and Bring in a string out. It's <laughs> difficult call. <laughs> I love it when the umpires bring the string out. Many other, many other descriptions that people have <laughs> around the table for this, for this sort of thing. <laughs> we won't be going into that. No total. Right. And of course no total means that Mickey must hit a cush or a rail. Correct. After contact with her ball. Be interesting to see the decision that she makes with this. Still anyone's game at this point in time. Mm. It was very well played. The yellow was very well played by Mickey. Putting a bit of pressure on Lindell. Come on, Lindo. Come on, Lindo. Come on, Lindo. Lindo going for the snooker now. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you, Rossi? She hasn't quite got that. No. She's left Mickey on this, this mm -hmm. yellow down the bottom here. Mickey obviously looking at winning looking to win this game to even things up going into the second round. Mm -hmm.
Mickey the Pirate Hunter. <laughs> Cracks me up every time. <laughs> Lovely pot. Come on, come on, Look like she dragged that a little bit, actually. Mm. Yep, I think so. Still smiling, though. <laughs> What would you do here, Rossi? Bit of a tough call. Mm. She's got control of the pocket, but it's still open enough for Lindo to put that red in there. Mm -hmm. Which is why she's left that yellow covering. Oh, there you go. Oh, wow. That was awesome. What a great shot, Nikki. Brought the black out beautifully, set for the middle pocket. <laughs> Once again, why wouldn't you, Rossi? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? We say that a lot here in WA. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> nice. Things might get a little loud in here if, we, if this ball goes in. Mm -hmm. Nothing fancy. Yeah. Here we go. Vicky the pirate hunter makes absolutely. Play. That's a huge scalp right there for the Big Victorians. Mm -hmm. That should give them a bit of confidence into the next round. Although the essays, as you know, they always bounce back. Rossi, they always bounce back. They'll be very fired up. Mm -hmm. Three all. Three all. What a game. They'll be looking at, at those those frames. And they'll be definitely wanting to, to get those three back. Mm -hmm. Fierce competition here. Come on, SA! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> We've been hearing a lot of woos. Yeah. <laughs> Between woos, wahoos, and. A few. Your earplugs might have been floating around. Umpire's just giving the tables a bit of a quick brush in between rounds. Always get a lot of chalk marks and finger marks on the tables. That's right. Hands get a little bit sweaty, so <laughs> just <laughs> moves the cloth around a bit. Yep. It's the Keep perks in, of the game. Tip-top condition. <laughs> Guys have been doing a good job actually keeping the tables, keeping the tables well throughout this whole t tournament. Yes. Of course, we have Gordo on the far table who um, umpired at the Worlds this year as well. Go to our local girls, Mandy. Go the Pirate Hunter. Deb's put up there. Ding ding, round two. So, um, Victorians are the home team. They are, yes. 
making it first through into the final. Mm -hmm. They're beating South Australia first up in the in the first semi final. Mm -hmm. Once again, an all star cast on the tables at the moment. Four superstars. Plenty of family and friends sitting back watching this at home. Mm -hmm. Starting to get a bit rowdy in here. Certainly is. Yes. Second round, I think everyone's just wanting someone to pull away. Some certainly can One see of the a bit of a change of pace. Away. Yes. Both teams wanting to get that little extra extra edge. Mm -hmm. Previously in the qualifying rounds, we only played played three rounds per match. Yep. Finals goes to four, so potentially 24 frames in this match. However, it is a race to 13. Put it this right. Even Stevens. First round's always a, a tenuous one. So the ladies tend to be a little bit more defensive. But as the rounds progress, they do get a little bit faster, a little bit more confident, a little bit more hungry, I guess. Yeah, they want to get want to get those that couple of game buffer. Yeah. That's right, yeah. That's a great break. That's a lovely shot from Elise. Like her balls are. So well played. Very solid. Don't need the newcomer come yes. with a work cut out for her here. Yeah, first time representative. There's a difficult decision to make here as to choice of ball. She can get herself a nice pot up that top row. Potentially she's got a snooker up the top there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you always have to look at leaving a, a long shot because the margin margin for error or the difficulty that can be created by that. Still not an easy shot. At least there's two options here. Mm. It's just nominating the cut. To, yep. Take the cut. Pick the difficult ball. Got mm. option. Nevertheless, still well left. Oh, well played. Well played. I feel a hook coming on Rossi. 
Sorry. A hook. A hook. Mm -hmm. mm. A snooker. Mm hmm. She may, may not have enough. Perhaps not. May not have enough room, room down there. Oh. Lisa opting to block the pocket, but it didn't work out. They opened it a little bit. Renata's shooting well. Two ball, three left. Victorian girl with a chance here. Either block the pocket. Opting to block the pocket. Ooh. Just falling short. Still got a little bit of coverage over that red though. Mm -hmm. Several options again here for Elise. Although she might nominate to take this the red on the right. And then to come back round for the red on the rail and bring it down to cover the bag. Or to possibly try and out. Although I don't think I that black's going anywhere. Not at the moment. I'd be thinking of putting this corner one and pushing through, pushing through on this red. Mm -hmm. Cover it and also leave the white in, in there too. Oh, going to take the double. Renata's on the black. 4-3, South Australia. Elise Mabbitt missing the double at the top. Back to the Victorian girl. Be careful with her shot selection here. She's got an opportunity to actually play a top ball and bring the white down back, back behind this yellow here. It'd be a beautiful snooker. The yellow on the rail? Mm. Yes. So top yellow on the rail uh, to come behind the yellow on the side rail. Oh, oh that's a little dangerous. It's never Sad. easy, Rossi. No, Although not at all. She, she has come behind the other yellow. Mm. We've got a, got a call for a total sneaker. Huh? Umpire's having a look. It's close. Just a little bit of an edge sticking out there, so no total. No total. No. Having another look. Best option may be to come off the rail anyway, Rossi, and get a fine a fine cut on that top red. Yep. And try and get it in front of the yellow. A few of the guys are going hard on the on the net there. Jess is in there supporting the Vicks. She says, come on, Vic Jicks. great point that Jess has made. It does take a lot of skill to do what, what any player here representing their state at the Australian titles. Mm. A lot mm -hmm. resting on Colby's shoulder Most for certainly. the Vicks. Yep.
very well left. She can now cut the red up the top, play a defense shot, cover the bag, and drag the yellow out. Momentarily, she's got those two reds in the middle, two yellows in the middle covered. Yes. Difficult to bring her ball out. Oh, lovely shot. Well left. It's a very nice leaf. Sue may nominate to bring this bottom yellow now to double it back up to the top and attack the top pocket. Played by Elise. Now with an opportunity, get this black perfect out. opportunity to break the black out and perfect still be on the red. Yeah. Oh, we just skipped it. position she's pretty much got to get that white ball back to where it is now. Yes, for the only, black. only really mm -hmm. got the one option for, for the black at this point. Yep, very much so. Will she have a go or play a defence shot? Have a go. Have a go. Come back a little too far. going to be easy. Always worried about the possible foul. Clipping the yellow first. Very well played. Great shot kicking off that ball. She's taken that option. Mm -hmm. She's only got to run the ball down a little bit, put it, put it a bit closer in that middle pocket. Yeah. Ooh. Mm, she's left it open. I think she's a little bit too hard. Okay. Pretty nerve-wracking. I think the snooker's on. Still, she's got to 
Elise has got some clearance here from that ball, just to, just a touch off the cushion, mm. and still run the white down. Yeah, she's got the option of using shot. the rail. A little bit of drag. Vic girls on the table. I get the feeling that if Danny goes out here, it's just going to be huge. The Vicks are going to go off. It's such a huge game for her. Big time. She's got the opportunity here. Very good start, but as we all know, one ball at a time, one shot at a time. She's got two difficult shots at the moment. Ooh. Feeling a bit of pressure. Susie for SA getting two shots on the top table. Got a bit of work there to get those balls out. I think Danny opting for the snooker, snooker. here. Fair enough. Excellent pace. Done that beautifully. with the option of going up and down the table. I think so. It'll be Looks like she's got to run a ball down there. Get the pressure back on Danny. Pressure's on for Danny. She really needs to leave herself two shots for this ball that's been pushed down, or mm -hmm. if she chooses to go out. Well played. Once again, opportunity for a snooker. Yeah, I'd say she'd be taking this corner one and then looking at using that middle ball. Mm -hmm. To snooker her lace again. Well played. Has the angle off the centre bar. Yep. Nice little touch to the right hand side of it. Bounce mm -hmm. the ball off the jaw. Bounce the white off the jaw. I'm just going to take it. Ooh. Might have run a little bit further than, the, than she was expecting there, mm. I think. She may lose the ball for a double here, the white ball. She's only got the one shot left though. Mm -hmm. That's right. Quite a hard double. Although you know my mate from Robbie Savage from the Northern Territory would probably say to me, well, there's a Marcus double in this. But there is. Of course the snook is there as well. But we call Robbie Savage from the Territory um, the, uh, the master doublist is <laughs> <He's, he's> amazing <laughs> with his doubles. Paid 
He played pretty am amazingly in the Indigenous match too. Yes. Part of the World Masters um, champion team yeah. from Australia in 2008. Very, very unlucky, unlucky for Danny. Danny. Mm -hmm. Just a little too hard. Pace of the table, ruling some of the shots that these girls have played, unfortunately. Oh, yes. Going to release. SA starting to run away with the match. Long way to go yet. That's right, Ralphie. Still a long way to go. Runner-up Australian champion, Colby. Going for the out by the looks. Nice lay. Difficult shot for Sue. G'day, Roz. How you going? Just like to welcome myself to the commentary booth. <laughs> Why not? I'm, I'm, allowed, I'm allowed to comment on the women's pool because I got a girl's name. <laughs> uh, I'd just like to say hello to Hassan Kurd. It's Kimo. How you going, mate? I don't suppose you've ever tried tried playing two shot. <laughs> I'd, I'd smash you at it, by the way. Uh, well, it looks like it's going to be a knob, an absolute nail biter. I reckon this is going down to a um, playoff. That's my call. Definitely has the potential for that. Okay, there's only two frames in it at this stage. So far, it's just been going neck to neck. So. Have have you um, witnessed a um, a tie, like a playoff in 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 the ladies final before? Oh. Have you, you, you've played in in the final before, haven't you? Yes. And you've won it. Yes. Yeah, so you know what it feels like, and I'm guessing you've played in the final and lost. Never tasted no. defeat. <laughs> not in a, not actually in a final that I remember. Yeah. 2003 Adelaide, we had the preliminary final. That match ran three all, six all, nine all. Really? Last round was against. It was actually against Victoria. They had us ten nine up. Then I switched off because I was playing the last frame of the match. Didn't know what the score oh, was. Oh, you won it. Had no idea of the score. Awesome. Next thing, the whole place absolutely erupted. The team come running over. And it's just like going mad. And I said, did we win? And they go, no, it's a draw. <laughs> and I just looked at them and went, words I can't say right now. And then we had a playoff. Five frame shooter. Oh, no. That must have been somewhat Got stressful. Got to all. Oh. I guess you had to play the last frame. Oh, no. <laughs> we won that. Then we won the title the next day. Hardcore, so you so you pretty much 100%. Never taste a defeat. All right, I'm going to leave the commentary box and put you back to Christine. Wow. What have I missed?
So the match up top between Sue and Colby is still going? Yeah, I think it's... I don't know. I get the impression everyone's tightened up a little bit. Just mm. just the way the match is going. You know, mm. it's frame for frame. And I don't think anyone wants to be the one that loses that one frame that gets the other team ahead. You know, especially if someone gets a two-frame lead at this point, it's going to be... Um, that's right. It's going to be difficult and you're going to lose the momentum. Colby and Margie now with a lot of pressure because the SA have finally pulled away by two frames. Yeah. So these ladies now need to work hard to get back those two that they lost. And Margie and Colby are just the two people you want out there in this oh, situation. Especially, um, I think it might be a little bit hard for Colby to concentrate simply because she's just come off playing the final and she lost. It's um, very hard. I think I think one thing in her favour is she just had a really good hit. Mm -hmm. So she's obviously warmed up. But, um, yeah, just a matter of sort of maintaining your confidence after losing can, can be a little bit difficult. That's right. And it, it can be very exhausting as well. She's played heaps of frames and it can be exhausting mentally. It would be mentally challenging for her out there right now. Yeah, and I guess that's the big thing in this game. Like people ne always don't refer to it as a sport because it's like well, you're inside and you're standing around doing nothing. But as you say, the, the amount of concentration and focus involved in in having to do this for an extended period of time it just takes it out of you. It is. It is amazing. I admire these ladies, hundred percent. You know, every year I come to these titles. I've been coming to these titles since '97. Really? And yeah. And these ladies amaze me. They really do. And the ladies have improved out of sight. We see master breaks on a regular basis from these ladies. Yeah. Um, I was just speaking to Rose. She was telling us um, she actually hasn't tasted defeat in the final yet. Who hasn't? Uh, Rose. Oh. She's 100%. <laughs> um, but how about you? You've, you've played in finals and you've won finals and lost finals. I'm um, I, I'm from the Territory, yeah. and uh, my team have yet to taste finals, um, well, finals victory, finals playoffs, full stop. Right. So we haven't, the closest we came to was in Sydney, oh, okay. quite recently, yes. Right. Mm. Well, statistically speaking, you do for a, a final. <laughs> um, sorry? Statistically speaking, you, you, you're quite due for a final. Yes. I think so. I think we are. In fact, this year we had a lot of pressure on ourselves. I was um, player of the carnival last year, so there was a lot on my shoulders this yeah, year. Yeah, right. Um, you know, with leading this team. We have just an amazing team this year. Every single girl here has um, achieved something at a state level. Yep. And the expectations were very high, and I think... Um, Unfortunately, because the expectations were so high, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves yeah. and we didn't quite get there. But I'm hoping that this team will come away again next year and um, we'll be a lot more experienced for it. Yeah. You know? Well, I can, I can just say as someone who's obviously watched pretty much every frame of this whole tournament, your team seemed to have the most fun. Yes. <laughs> well, you know what? We, we've had to. Um, it, it's so hard to come away because, as I said, these girls have achieved so much at a state level. Championships, uh, they're all champions, every one of these girls. And to come away and lose year after year is very hard. Yeah. It's very, very hard on us. And if we don't have fun, uh, it'd be very depressing. Well, I think if you win and you don't have fun, you lose. But if yes. you lose and you have fun, you win. And if you win and you have fun, then you really win. But well, that's very philosophical. <laughs> we'll take that on board. Absolutely. We had to tell ourselves at the end of the day, um, if we don't have fun now, if we don't just, you know, uh, then we'd walk away with this just feeling too hard on ourselves. Yeah. Being too hard on ourselves. But we had fun. And we're continuing to have fun. And... I can now brag that I'm the first NT lady to be uh, to be in the finals of the ladies team <laughs> as a commentator, of course. Nice. Well, it's, it's, it's possibly one of the most important parts of the final. <laughs>
<laughs> These guys are all lightweights. <laughs> oh, it'd be fabulous to be out there. I think all of us have dreamt about it. And just to be out there would be so amazing. Yeah, well, I think for, for pool players, I mean, the thing that attracts... I mean, apart from the physics of it, which I think is the one thing that attracts us all to the game, it's just the nature of competition. Mm. Um, I know for myself, I had sort of had about 15 years out of the game and my cousin said, oh, let's go play this tournament in Adelaide, uh, the Empire, and I'd, I'd never seen a small white ball before. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I had a ball and it was just because it was the experience of just competition. Yes. And I remembered, yeah, I actually really love doing this. So I, that, and that's what got me back into it. And that's why we do it. That's why the ladies do it. We just love the competition. We love the high that we get from competing at this level. Yeah. At any level, really. Great attempt by Margie just then. Margie being a snooker player herself. And one would imagine that playing on these smaller tables would be a lot easier for her. But the game and the strategy and the balls a little bit different well I think um, straight long pots yeah but f personally for myself I play on a nine foot table yeah. and I have a bit of a snooker background and I'm used to having a lot of room <laughs> and you really you just got to be precise on these seven footers yeah. um, you know we can see in the chat room Hassan's are obviously going off I don't know if if, if you know Hassan he's <laughs> a friend of mine from New South Wales and he's actually got a He's got a 147 that he filmed that he got last year at home um, on YouTube, which is worth watching. It's a fantastic break. Um, but yeah, I mean, everyone from New South Wales always pays out on this small white ball, and I was no different <laughs> <laughs> until I played it and learnt to appreciate um, that it's a totally different game. It's like comparing squash and, squash and tennis almost in the way that the balls react. So yes. it's a different skill set. Absolutely. And it's actually a lot of fun because there are things you can do with that small white that you cannot do with a, with a, not with a white that's the same, has the same physical properties as the object ball. Yep. So I really, really rate this game. Mm. I think so. I think technically it's a very superior game. Like just the use, I mean, I wouldn't say technically superior to snooker. Yeah. But, uh, but, when we're, but when you add the tactics in, oh. it becomes that sort of well-rounded technical aspect to it because you have to think your way through everything not only pot everything so it's almost double the concentration mm. yes absolutely oh. oh excuse me Christine I'm just going to hand I'm going to hand the mic back to Roz yep no worries and we'll catch you later <laughs> Hey, Rossi. Hey, Chris. That was a big shot by Margie there, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Snooker Both shot. Game with Colby and Sue still going on in the background there. I was having a look from the sidelines and can feel, feel the pressure. Mm, absolutely. Feel the excitement building up around the crowd as well. Hard to predict the game with Sue and Colby. Hard to predict who's going to be, who'll take it out. Certainly at this, this early stage in the game. Quite a bit of support coming in. We've got a lot of, a lot of people made their, making their way into the room. Susie with two shots. The mm. second visit now. Margie going across the table. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Ah, oh, lovely shot. Beautiful touch. Great pop, great pop by Susie up the top there. Mm. Wasn't easy as she had to reach over the white ball. But she is on the black now. Difficult bridge here for Margie. Mm -hmm. What we call Chinese snooker. That's it. Just ball checking on the rail. The ball's not frozen either. It's not frozen. Good. Beverages for the ladies. That good thinking by Margie. Well played. Fabulous shot. That's what it's about, positive pull. I can feel another snooker coming on here. I think and so. Or maybe not. Looks like Linda's going for it. Ooh. <laughs> Maggie's got a shot here. This long, is a huge long pressure shot. shot, though. Big pressure, yeah. Yep. And if anyone can do it, a snooker player like Margie. But as we said, and we've said it before, it's huge pressure game, huge stakes. Got a big shot here for Sue. Double back down the table. Jordan. Oh, wow. Mm. I think she's think Lindell's just got enough room to sneak that down in there in, inside the black. Not the black difficult. Both pockets covered. Mm -hmm. A risky shot to take. Of course, if it dropped, then she could have gone out. But Marg is still with an opportunity with the yellow over the bag to create something here. Putting a bit of work on the white to bring it round for bring the black. It around. Take the black either straight up or nice double. This is a, a shot worth watching at the moment. See if she can pull it off. It's hard to know which table to look at. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Colby's brought the white down lovely for that shot. Colby on the black. Or on One the red. red. Colby on the, the red. Black in the middle. <laughs> Textbook out for Lindell with two shots. to Lindell. South Australia six. Sue also with a shot on the black ball. It's getting loud. Lindell with a signature cry <laughs> or yell. Scream. <laughs> Come Scream on, Leighton Hewitt. Come on. <laughs> Hey, I had that one down pat for a few years there. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Not going to do it now. 
Don't want to blast my own ear drums out. I started doing that in Canberra, <laughs> 2008. Tough shot here for Sue, going face cut. Oh, oh, wow. oh my goodness. Well. Hard Big opportunity choose. here for, for Colbs. Oh, huge opportunity. Pretty much a give me. Close that gap again. Mm -hmm. Once again, textbook out. No roll on that Whoa. table. <laughs> that was a little too close for comfort. Mm. Vicks kick one back. Six four. Vicks needing to stay in touch with them. These last two frames certainly very important. Yes, yes, absolutely for the Vicks. They need to pull them back. Big stretch. Well played. Nice pop by Rio. Just looking at that red in the middle. Looks Love like getting compliments. Oh, double. Oh, double kiss there. Two big frames here for these girls. Joy with a chance to attack the pocket. It's quite a gap there. On the inside of the what? red. Just got to watch out for her shirt. Of course, the last oh. thing anybody wants to do is get a shirt foul against them. Oh, yeah. Dry break. Taylor weighing up her options. Ooh. Foul snooker to Joy. Does she nominate ball in hand? Or does she nominate to take the red over the bag? It's always a tough call. You've really got to weigh up your options, and that's right. And plus, the yellow to, to, to your best favour. Mm -hmm. Here we have Young Taylor again. Wonderful to watch. Great queuing action, and so fast. Didn't quite get. Not quite on that one. The double on that. Playing Mickey. Mickey the pirate hunter. Mm, absolutely. <laughs> Got a great, great comment on there actually. Um, one of, one of our followers. This is Q Sports. You can't stop learning. I don't know about you, but I've been playing for 20 years and every single day, especially at these tournaments, you never, ever stop learning. No. The amount of things, are, things that I've seen people do and, and the shots that people play. Mm. And how good was that having the British Lions here? Ah. Uh. 
Mate, you know what? That I, was just amazing. So I, outstanding. I loved the atmosphere. The ladies would be playing at about the same time that they were, and the atmosphere was just huge. But great bunch of guys, great characters. Yes. And oh, how's it go? Boom. 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 Yes. Introduce that word. How much boom was there in this room? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there's it a fair bit of off. boom going on all around. I just wish I had the opportunity, Rossi, to, to watch some of the games. You and me both. Yeah, it was we a little bit both. hard when the ladies were playing and they yeah. were at the same time. Well played, Taylor. Lovely shot, Taylor. Nice touch. Very nice leave. We're still, still checking on this. Yeah. The string's this out again, Rossi. Strings, I know. Here we go. We've got a call of the foul snooker. <laughs> I love it when they bring the string out. Can't get much closer than that string. <laughs> That's the best thing you can do. If, if, you're, if you're unsure of a decision, then you have the right to challenge and ask for a second opinion. Oh. Well. Hmm. Sportsmanship, big part of this carnival. Definitely. Tournament. Big part. Just a big part of the game, all up. Mm. Sure enough, it's not a foul sneaker, so. Well played by Mickey. Attacking that pocket. Big shot. Well, Taylor with an opportunity to go out if she chooses. Joy with just the one shot remaining. Playing the centre bag first. Oh, nominated the cut to the bottom pocket. Good result. Brave shot in the end. Very brave Good shot. Good result. Nice touch from Joy. Mm. Tension is building. Joy opting to attack this pocket down the bottom here. Requiring another great defence shot. Oh. Good cover by Joy. Rio having a, a good look at the table here.
Well played by Rhea. I think I see a sneaker coming up, maybe. Very well played. Maybe not. Too hard. Mm. Well, I'm not sure leaving about the that shot. I think she was looking at leaving the option of only that ball in the pocket. Forcing Joy to play the, the top yellow here near the black. Cannon's definitely on. Maybe but if Joy can get a, a clip off the, off the bottom yellow. Ooh. Oh, triple cannon. Well done. Tough leave for Rio. Very well played. I do believe that is a, a total sneaker. That's a great leave, Rio. Taylor having a go now. Question is, oh, okay. Pressure's on. Mickey now with an opportunity to steal that pocket. Steal it, open it up for the other two reds. Maybe force, maybe, maybe force the two shots on Taylor by taking up there once she's got her sitting in here. That, that was quite an amazing foul by by Joy. This this may change the entire game. And how many times do we say that? One shot. I'm sorry? How many times do we say that? One shot can just change the whole game. Yes. That's right. Removing both reds from behind those two yellows and possibly securing, I don't know, possibly securing a win. Who knows at this point? Still a bit of work to do. I can see Rio's a little bit concerned as to this red that's sitting down here on the back now. Yes. Didn't quite, quite come out as much as she would have liked. She has to be focused and confident here. Oh, that's it. How cool was that? Great shot by Taylor. Made life very hard for Mickey. Totally snooker, though. for joy. Yes, Joy, a bit fortunate with the yellow up the top. And with Rio not mm. potting that red. That yeah. was the shot. It was a beautiful shot by Rio, but overcut it. Just that tiny little bit. Mm. Really got a, you know, got a feel for the players in that situation. We've all been, we've been there and... Mm. I know, the pressure's just, just amazing, yeah. But anything can happen in a game of pool. Mm -hmm. Game's definitely not over until that eight ball is down. Yep. Big pop 
by Joy. Taylor on the top table securing that pocket once again. Mickey once again with an opportunity to steal that pocket. with the second visit. Always a difficult shot having to play with the rest over top of the ball. Mm -hmm. Joy with an opportunity here. Good pace. Difficult to control the pace using the rest as well. She may have come just a tiny fraction too much but still an easy pot. OMG, wow, wow. Well, so just say anything can happen in a game of pool. Yes. <laughs> totally opens so it. So um, totally opens it right up for Rio. Wow. This might just change things completely. Rio with Mickey now with a great opportunity again. Up the top table to secure the game, a possible win. For the Vicks. Great pot, Rio. Beautiful position on there. Great positioning by Rio. Two shots I don't think are required here for some reason. Oh no, that's right. Joy missed the black. There were no two shots given. No. <laughs> good pace for Rio. She's having a good look there, just mapping it out. Mickey now with the decision to make. Does she take the top pocket where her red is? Does she break it out? Oh, I reckon she's taken that black down. Protect the queen. Nice and steady from Rio. Keeping her composure really well, it's great to see. Yeah, we've got to be careful. Mickey with the shot on the black. Beautiful pace. Well done, great Rio. Pace. Great shot there. I sense this may be where the Victorians take back the two wins. Oh, one at a time. One frame at a time. There we go. And there's that boom. And as Rio said, boom. Yes, they're still in the lead, but now it's six five. Last frame happening of this round. Played by Taylor, the pocket rocket. An old, um, old little saying seems to be creeping in about bringing your brain to the game. Well, it is a thinking sport. It's a thinker's sport. Taylor needs a big shot here, either get the white ball up or just set it. Yeah. Very well thought. Possible double back. Well, that red of Mickey's is really, really sitting right up there on that ball. So she may have a job getting that out. Yeah, she'll opt to go the other pocket. And leave Mickey no shot. Yep. But just not enough pace on that yellow because Mickey will probably just play another defence shot and just bring the red off the rail and leave it. 
possible She's got to be careful again. where she leaves the white, though, because if she leaves that down on that bottom pocket, mm. there's, you know, potential, potential big double. Mickey didn't even bring it up. And it pop that yellow yes, I see, yep. Yeah. So it's got to be spot on, yep. Yeah. Mm, under the black. Great defence by Mickey. I haven't seen Taylor play too many defence games. Being a beautiful attacking player. She may have been may have been looking to want to lead that white in there actually to run the black ball up. Well, she's got this I think I think what she wants is for Mickey to pot her red and have a go at the red down here to open it up for her or give her two. Well, the thing is, Mickey, Mickey can get this one first go, get this open red out, mm -hmm. leave herself enough angle. That's it. That's she can the come shot. in behind this red, bounce it out, mm -hmm. use a shot there. Black's out in the open. Mm -hmm. That's it. So that's what she needs to be looking at at the moment. Either that or play another two shots if she's not confident and wait. Play two shots on the red, leave it over the bag and wait for another opportunity. Do you run the risk though leaving it off the bag of Ooh. Wow. She may have just Whoa. done it. That's a perfect angle, although that is a perfect angle. Tough bridging on the pocket though. Yes, that's the problem that she faces. But she is the pirate killer. Is that right? <laughs> pirate hunter. A oh, pirate hunter. Yeah. Not killer. Oh. <laughs> ninja. <laughs> Somebody said ninja. <laughs> yeah, they got a few ninjas on the on the Vic team. There you go. Look at that. Oh. Hasn't sat very well for him. Big great, effort. Great effort getting that ball out. What work though. Very unlucky not to get the shot. Very unlucky the way that it kicked off the jaw and went straight across. But a hook is there. She can go hook now. She is, you know, what would you play? Would you play a shot up the rail inside a pocket? Would you no, play the hook this, and win it for your there. team? Have to go Possibly the snooker. Win. You'd have to. Go but the snooker. We never know. These things are very unpredictable we could be here at for, times. For another four hours, but that doesn't matter. It's all about winning the game. Mickey's gone the double. Mm. Still, anything can happen. Pressure going. We saw that. Even that on a straight frame, shot. So. Even on a straight shot. It is a cut. Yep. She was forced to hit it thick. A fine cut might have. Yep. Not easy. Was an easy shot with the ball sitting right out on that outer jaw. So. Mm. Be careful with your control of the white ball. Oh, on, well. <laughs> Two frames in a row. So a shot that Taylor is more than capable of doing, but under pressure. Maybe a little more time needed to be taken. 
be sure of the shot. Hey, you got 60 seconds. You That's might as well right. use it. And even then, it's not easy. Mickey opting the double. Opting for the double. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> Pirate Hunter's been given a, a second chance. Mm -hmm. If she Don't misses, walk the plank. <laughs> she knows if she misses the oh, double. Oh, my jokes are terrible. Chances are the black may go. Might not set up for the for mm. the player for the opposition. So yeah, probably the best option under the circumstances. You always got to back yourself. And by the looks of the angle, the white might even land on the rail. Oh yeah! <laughs> and there you have what it, Rossi. A match. Oh my goodness. Six all. <laughs> so crucial, isn't it? <laughs> Just one tiny little mistake. But that's her character. Man, was she happy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Love it. Oh. Love it. Can't get much closer than that. Well, that, that's got to have to be a blow to the South Australians, thinking that they were pulling away, and now, boom, as they would put it, we're back to square one. <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, the Vicks are certainly pumped up now. And as you say, yeah, yes, I, they'll be having a little chat about just one, those, making those tiny little mistakes. Yeah, which may have cost them the game. But that's pool at this level. It is. <coughs> 60 seconds to play a shot. Use your time. Make sure of your shot. That's generally the speech or the pep talk that you give your players, Rossi. Take your time. Steady. Well, that's it. The, you know, the Vicks are going, going for their fourth straight. So they're feeling pretty pumped. SA girls, after finishing on top of the ladder, then having to come, th come through the, do the hard yards to get back, back to the final. So, man, what a match! See what, see what <laughs> magic comes out now. I knew it was going to be tight. Wow. I mean, what do you expect? Well, both teams hold champions, man. Phenomenal stuff. Have the Reds received a bit of a rumble from the ninjas and the pirate hunter? <laughs> mm. We shall see. Great support too from the men coming out to support these women. Yeah, it's always such a such a great thing to see. You know, so so many years you've girls get in there and, and get right behind the guys when, when they're playing in their team matches and it is, it's an awesome thing to see all the guys come in to support the girls. Yes. Haven't seen the best game from Ella yet. I'm hoping to see that in this match. She has such a great game on her, but at the moment these titles struggle just a little bit so far, these titles, hoping that she brings a game 
to the finals today because it'd be just awesome to see. Yeah, she had had a little bit of a hiccup uh, in the in the last week. Uh, had to put a cue into the doctor for a day. So is that right? Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> As occasionally these things happen, you know. <laughs> Tip flies off and that's right. Break your rhythm a little bit. I bring all my tools with me. Just in case that happens. So Ella and Moody up for the VIX and young Taylor and Joy Bell for South Australia. Mm-hmm. Nice solid pop by Ella. Once again, the white running away from her a little bit Taylor's there. Taylor's very quick. Or maybe not running enough. Like always in the in the Australian titles, had the finals been played on Malat World tables. Mm. Very Joy quick. Bell now at the table. What a great shot. Oh. Pace just off. Chance for Taylor to possibly secure that pocket or go out. The out is... Well, maybe that's just me. <laughs> <coughs> Once again on the sideline, no pressure on me. I oh, know. <laughs> Never lose a game sitting up here. <laughs> okay. Taylor on yellow. Joy having a good look around the table. Actually, the reason why I said that there was an out, a possible out for Taylor, was I accidentally thought she was on red, so I'll take that oh, back. okay. No. I was having a look, <laughs> thinking, well, she's got, no, it's not got a plant possible. on these two yellows, but that red's just a little off. So yes. A little off on there, so. <laughs> we'll work that one out later. <laughs> <laughs> what am I, on to my third drink? It's all good. <laughs> Water, water that is. Bottle of water. <laughs> Definitely got to keep the refreshments up. Yes. Doing as much talking as oh, this, but then again. No. Absolutely. Like. <laughs> nice shot by Joy. Joy looking very re quite relaxed and steady. Very well nice left, by Ella. Yeah. Very well left. Although there may just be a cannon there for Joy. Oh, for Taylor. Taylor looking to sneak through there and just get that get that first yellow into the middle Ooh, pocket. Joy. Mm. Going on off. Big effort by Taylor. Moody with two shots. You've got the two skippers at the moment. Two Victorian skippers. Very well played. Taylor, 
difficult shot with those two balls kissing. Tracy, better known as Moody, playing in the top table. On the Reds. I was going to say, half the time I heard Captain Puss. Yes. <laughs> Mickey. <laughs> Mickey's favourite name. A lot of the girls play together out of Potter's Pool Hall and in the same team, so. Solid pot there by Moody. Very well played. opting opportunity to clear these two reds before going up the table and setting up for the black well played good pace there certainly giving yourself the best opportunity for the out mm -hmm. Ella. Very well played. Wanted to leave herself on that. Has she Need got a, a shot at the tough. centre? She may look at the face cut to take the wine up for that ball. For the ball up the top pocket. Oh, oh what, what a, a shot. great shot. And this is the Ella I've been waiting for. Big hit. How awesome was that? That was the shot. And <laughs> she played it with ease. Good stuff. This is what I've been waiting to see here. Big shots like that from the ladies. Under pressure. The Vicks now sensing... Sensing that the tables have turned. Sensing victory, yes. Certainly hunting for it. I think Moody didn't quite get the posse that she wanted there on the top table. Safe shot by Ella. Moody in a bit of trouble at the top. Didn't get the posse she wanted. Mm. I've seen her play some great shots this tournament, so... Oh, yeah, you know. Very generally a very steady player. A good captain for the Victorian side. Reliable. Ella having to make the decision here as to play safe. What to do with that black? Leave this ball in here. Put yeah. the black, black in the position that it's in. What do you do with the black? Not easy. Not easy at all. Shot not, not quite coming off as well for... Tracy is what she'd hoped. Mm. Unfortunately, in a position to have to play a big shot. Well played by Ella. Opening up the black, leaving the white ball in that position, pushing the two yellows over to the bottom right pocket. Join now with yet another out under her belt for the SA ladies. Oh. 
Not an easy black. And we're just one shot under a belt. Big shot. Big shot. Lot of bottom. Black now safe. Moody with an opportunity to bring this red back off the rail, set it up. Tracy having a very good look just to make sure that that black can't get past that red. Mm -hmm. Bring this ball out off the rail. Leave Joy a long, difficult shot. I do believe Taylor may have sneaked Ella up the top there. Just be a little bit of room there for Ella to get through. So not quite a total in between the two yellows. Opportunity for Moody here. Ella with a huge chance now. Moody with a nice shot. Didn't quite get the snooker. But she's not not exactly left joy. Any no. joy. <laughs> I might have a big go here. Nope. Always going to be touch and go with the centre bag there mm. for Joy. Certainly she wanted to leave, leave the ball down. Only, only give, give Moody a shot on this bottom red. Mm-hmm. So it'd be tough for her to get that, get the white on. She could put... Oh, what a great sniper. What a shot. Huge shot by Moody there. Great total. Oh, played by Ella. Big 7-6 up. The Vic train is back in motion. Looks like it. Toot toot. Or is it, is it a boat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at that. Mm. Well. Wow. It's got to hurt. Not exactly There's a lot a of shot words that could come out of my mouth that but I can't actually say them right on now. Shore. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at me too much. Far out. Ooh, Moody. One for one again. Seven all. Men's finals meant to be 7.30, isn't it? I'm not sure there, Rossi. Got a feeling it might not be. Either way, it's going to be huge. Tomorrow we've got presentation evening. 
heaps of trophies. Always a fun night. Oh. Girls get to dress up. It's awesome. <laughs> Unlucky break by Colby. Unlucky, yes. With those two reds up in the pocket there. Yeah. Elise now with a big opportunity. The pressure. But you know what? These ladies have been there time and time again. I know. Hey. All four of them. Elise playing Colby. Margie playing Renata. Just amazing. Colby's got an opportunity to attack that pocket where the red is down the bottom here. Snip yeah. it with bottom. Open up the pocket. Oh, she's got the opportunity. She needs to take it. Yeah, that's right. Back herself. There we go. Didn't quite kick out, but there's plenty of room there. She needed to open it up. But the gap's still there to run that yellow across. Safe shot from Renata. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Big opportunity here for Colby to pot this yellow and break the other two out. Yep. For sure. It's always hard for us sitting up here on the sidelines. It's like Oi. Just off there. Very well left. We can't really we can't really cheer for anybody here, can we? No. It's too hard. Too many good players. You've got to give them the respect they deserve, eh? Oh, we can. But. with an opportunity. That's 
see what Colby can bring out here. Well, the ball's right in the open. Nice touch from Gorski. To the yellow. Across the bottom there, straight back up for these other two. Both Victorian ladies up. Didn't quite cover the pocket. Harry Houdini didn't quite bring it out there. No. <laughs> and Colby missing the double into the centre bag. Still, both Victorian ladies very much in control of the game. At this point, yep. It's a great lead by Renata. I think, I think just, just enough there one. for Margie to get underneath and connect with her yellow. That's over the bag. Oh, okay. Force, force Renata to play the balls out. Yep. Opened it up, forcing Renata to play. Yep. She can't do anything. Can't get out of there. Do anything with the reds that are down at down at the blacks end of the table. So mm -hmm. going for Renata another going for a snooker. It's a lovely shot. It is. Appropriately acknowledged by Margie. Mm -hmm. As you do, you know, any time any of these players play a shot like that, it's you know, also always got to show your appreciation. At least with a bit of a battle on my hands here. Very well played. The Gorski putting the pressure back on. Mm -hmm. Vic's definitely itching to get number four. At least with an opportunity to go out. a little bit concerned about the red in the middle there, cover on the on mm -hmm. that yellow ball. Yep. But she's only got to take, she's just got to take this red up, just slightly kick off, kick off that yellow and it opens it right up. Mm -hmm. That's what she's looking at. Yeah. Opportunities there to go out. I remember when Remember with it playing in WA and cute case always had carped in written on it, seize the day. Yes. That's what it's about. Two giant players <laughs> at the moment having a go at going out, pretty much. Definitely looking for the out. Which one's going to get there first? Race ya. <laughs> oh. Well. The ninja's back at the table. Mm. Opportunity for Colbs now. 
can't see any other option but for Colby to double back underneath that red with one of the yellows. Or else, I'm not quite sure. Elise can't cut that red. Maybe leave it hard up on the rail and snooker on the other reds. But what she wants here is to position both those yellows. Break them open, leave a position for her to get to the other two yellows for the out. Best way to do that is go double it back she got enough underneath the red. She got enough angle on that on that top yellow to just run through with it and sit the white ball on the yellow. On the second yellow. Right. Taking well, the oh, that's that's shot. Huge. That's a beautiful Now she's got double. the opportunity. Or has she? What's the angle like? She got the opportunity to create posse on this other yellow. It's hard to tell on uh, looking at this at the TV screen. No. Of course, the other option, Rossi, is for her to play safety and block the pocket. No. That's a shot. Pace not right. Just a, just a tiny little bit out on that one. And here we go. Changes again. A little bit unlucky. Huge shot. Played a huge shot. But didn't quite get the posse. SA 8-7. They've got Elise back, back in the box seat and couldn't can take the frame. Anybody's going. I'm not sure if Elise has left herself a shot though. She's left a cannon or a cut, a fine cut. Wow. Pressure on again. Try and make this shot. Little little bit on this ball and she may have to look at taking this this bottom red. Yeah. I'd be putting a little, I'd be putting bottom left on this. Ooh. And there we go. And that was, that was the risk. Yep. Never count your chickens before they hatch, it's just this game. How many times have we had? Colby now with the opportunity. At least to go out. To, go out. to, to go even out. the score. Top game's going to be a beauty. We've got Lindell. And Rio. Yeah. with a natural shot. Got to get the pace right. She's either going to overplay it or it's going to be perfect. Oh, she's been playing so well in this tournament. So my, my money would be on for good pace. Perfect. There we go. Out in the play. open. Only a very slight angle, mm. but seen us do so many great shots. Sometimes like this. a slight angle is the best. There we go. <laughs> and yet again, the score is tied. That game could have gone either way, and both girls making crucial mistakes and one actually getting away with it, getting the pot out. 
good to have a bit of the aggression in the game and need to attack attack the game. That's why I'm looking forward to this game between Rhiannon, Rio, better known as Rio, and Lindell. Because I've got a feeling that both girls are going to go the out here. And it's going to be whoever gets there Certainly first. There. Whoever doesn't make a mistake. Opportunity's there for the taking, so... Mm -hmm. Potential for one of the quickest frames we've seen. Potential, yes. But unfortunately... I don't know how it'll go, but it's potential. Rio's now left herself a little bit of a hard shot here. But she... But oh, still, it gives her a good angle to come back this. on those balls in the middle, so... Yeah, she's capable of doing this. No fear. Lovely pot, Rio. A little unlucky leaving the white on the rail. Yeah. Still got a nice angle though for her. Yep. Ooh. A little unlucky there with that okay. kiss. So now the pressure's on. Like that red, red looked like it would go through cleanly. Cannon might be there. As a lot of players call it a plant. It'd have to be... Oh, okay. All right. Still, Lindell's got a got a couple of tough balls. She does. Three balls on the rail. But in many occasions, as you know, as as we've seen Lindell play, she will probably bring this, bring that that yellow up the top there out with yeah. this this pot. Break Just it Just like open. that. Which is pretty much on fire after winning winning the singles title. She's either going to leave this in there in the pocket or... All Shooting right. near on 80% for the tournament. Wow. Leaving a gap. Rio Leaving a gap a now for Rio. Rio. Carol just Rio's broke got here. got a chance now. Carol Nunn now playing for the SA. First frame in this match. First frame in this match. Big break. A little unlucky there for Rio. Ball didn't huge break. Didn't kick off and run up the table. Carol would be looking to go out here. Hardest ball is up the top, mm. but it's also almost like stepping Nunny, stones at the moment. Nunny's, Nunny's a, a a reasonably new player at the Nationals. I'm not, I wasn't at the Nationals last year, so I don't remember if she played then. But, but I know she's just been just been teetering on that edge for quite a few years now, so it's great to see her in the team. Carol not quite getting the pause she wanted, but still having an opportunity with this red up here near the yeah. black. If she hits it right, she may still be able to go out here. Well left. Rio, unfortunately, I think has given two shots to Lindell. It's a little unlucky. He's pushed her ball down, not the one in the oh. corner pocket. Yeah. That's a bit unfortunate. So. I got a feeling Lindell may be on the out here then. Absolutely. Two shots. Definitely looking at it. She won't hesitate to to make the most of the opportunity if it's given to her. She can break the yellow and the black now off this one down the line. Set herself up. Doesn't, but doesn't. doesn't need to. I think she's got a clear shot through on it anyway. Does that yellow go under the red? Take this one in the middle, just bring the wide around a little and she's got the mid got that in the middle. Oh, pocket she's got opposite. the angle for that, of yep, course. Got yep. a natural angle. Just like that. Follow through a little bit. Black in the opposite middle. Oh no, she took it back. On the rail.
That extra shot up her sleeve. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. Extra luck, maybe. Very unfortunate there for Rio. Crucial frame this one. Well, oh. Oh. Tiny little bit wrong side of the ball. Two shots for Mickey the Pirate Hunter. What can she do here, Rossi? Sometimes I've seen Mickey do anything. He's got two shots to make, make out of this game. One down. No, I didn't, Rossi. No. <laughs> Probably best that you didn't. Sorry, we couldn't really Sorry. talk about that. Bit so. of a break in transmission yeah. there. Go for the paper commentary on that one. <laughs> oh, what a cracker! <laughs> Ooh, Mickey! Oh, what a shot! That was an awesome double. That's a Mickey shot right there. Very clever pro. Very clever pro. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> Opportunity to take this bottom pocket here with the two reds. Put the yellow on the inside. Or perhaps not. <laughs> That's a big call, that one. Mickey has the opportunity to open up if she plays this yellow down here off the red. Kick that red back over here onto this in the But she's going to opt to kick the other... To kick the red but the problem is this red stays here it stays in front of the yellow oh what a shot and and that's, lucky. that's that's the risk that was the risk yeah if she had to come on the inside she, she would have taken that other yellow and then and just kissed it off the red which might have actually kicked her well she's got that opportunity now i'd say rossi eh? she got that opportunity now put a bit of drag on the white so it doesn't come up Oh, there we go. It leaves it flat on the rail. Doesn't always go to plan, plan, does it? No. I was going to say shit happens, but... Yeah. Makes for an interesting game. She's not looking for that. Rossi, she's looking at something else. Yep. Pirate Hunter's got a plan. Dreams Carol got to get in under this yellow here. Not sure. It's a big call. Hard to see, hard to tell on the screen. But I don't think it's a risk worth taking no. at the moment, Rossi. Not at this point. 
And she probably hit the rail first or about the same time. Mickey with the opportunity again. Take the yellow up. Take Let's one yellow. We've we got a lot of Vicks online tonight. Okay. You guys aren't saying too much, though. I suppose you've got to let us <laughs> do most of the talking, but anyway. So Mickey opting to play ball down the bottom. It's a nice save. Very well played. Plenty of time. Try and snook, snooky Carol from all her other balls and try and make her play this one at the bottom. That's causing Mickey a bit of grief. So, Well, I think I, I think if she plays this red down here, she's going to leave the white hard up on Mickey's yellow, which is going to be an issue for Mickey. Yeah. That's why I was looking at that before, just to see how much room yep. she had in there. Just enough pace. Nearly fell over the table trying to do it, but anyway. But she's going elsewhere. That was a big call. Interesting, Rossi. Mm. Very interesting. We've been proven wrong time and time again as to which way these girls are going to go. I know, that's the thing, you know, if we sit up here and we're watching it, we can, we can see one thing and it's so totally different when you're actually standing down there around the table. Mm. We've got three screens and the real thing to look at. Mm. All right. Gee, there's oh, been well. a lot of overplaying, I tell you what. Yeah, a little bit of tentativeness creeping in there again. Mm -hmm. But then pressure. again, there's big stakes on the line. This is for your title, so. Big pressure going. We now have 181 people watching online. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. It is pretty cool. And we've got about 100 people in the room. Easy, Rossi, eh? Hey? Easy 100 people. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I lost somebody. Dropped down to 180. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right. Mickey again, another opportunity to attack this pocket. Oh, claim it. Get this pot and bring the white. Leave the white in a good spot and she can get both of them out if they... Mm. It's the only shot put that one in, Put that one in the pocket and... Come on, open the game right up. Right up. Well played. Still. I just swore. Um, <laughs> said the S word. Oh, I said that before <laughs> anyway. Hope my kids aren't watching. <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> Although we've got three more now. Cool. <laughs> said that and they go, I don't know. Well... Mickey Free. now with the chance to clear that yellow. Or maybe not, once again. 
changes the complexity of the game a little bit, doesn't mm. it? What to do? This will be a great shot. If she manages to put that red underneath that, that yet white underneath that red, she'll force Carol to play that red away from that pocket. Mm. Sending it a bit, a bit technical. Mm. Okay. Well, oh. given mm. Nani the option, okay, do you want to block that pocket? Mm. Or are you going to go for it? Carol can very well play that red onto the yellow and create posse, open up that pocket and go out because the black is still open. There's enough room there for her to, to get that out of the way. Black mm. is still open for the centre back. Yeah. Just like that. A little unlucky with the kick onto the cushion. But, Re but still. A <laughs> Way too hard. She didn't have to play it that hard. No. It's a little bit too hard, that one. Sometimes, though, you just get a little bit excited, eh? Oh, absolutely. Like, it's, it's easy to say from, uh, you know. As we said from before, outside yeah. of the game, it's easy to Who say. Who loses a game of pool from watching on the sidelines? Don't think yeah, anybody well that's does. It, uh, wonderful shot. Oh, what a great shot. Big, big shot, that one. certainly turned the control of the game around, hasn't it? And Carol, you know, out there proving proving to the to the crowd that yes, she's part of the SA team, yes, she's out there to win too, you know. Well played. Oh, what a shot. Oh. Mickey the Pirate Hunter. That was a great shot. Question is, can Carol get through that yellow and black there in between and reach her top red? Mm. Because if she can get that... There's and it plenty goes of room for this, for this one to come through exactly. this bottom pocket. Can she get on this red properly? Mm. Didn't once again didn't have to hit it that hard. Mm. Could have just played a drop. So as with just about every other frame, this mm -hmm. one's anyone's game. Mm -hmm. Well, at the moment, it's looking pretty good for Mickey. All she got to do is play it's this yellow on this side. It's been a little, little more solid than Nunny. Mm. Great thinking by both girls. Mm. Yes, so she'll play this yellow here on the right. In or over, and she's set herself up for a good win here. Ooh, just a little bit too hard. Once again, overplaying shots. Yep. Carol may just take this pocket on the left. Just a little, little mistakes and it just... Mm. Just changes the changes game. Changes the game. And changes the game and changes the game again. Too hard. Once again. Mickey with two now. Black still out in the open. Come 
I think Mickey is about to go out now. She's got two. Oh, well, two shots. You would Black think. is out in the open. Uh, there's a big space under the red for yellow to go in. Is she confident? Question is, is she confident enough to go centre bag with one of the. Uh, nope. She'll cut it. She's going for the cut first. Get the kiss off the red. Oh, that's a great shot. That's a great shot. Setting herself up there just nicely. Mm -hmm. Once again, this yellow down here on the right. She needs to put that in or over. Well, you'd, you'd, you'd think that if it gets this ball off the rail here, it should be all over. You know, Simple pots, but we haven't always seen that in this match so far. No. But still... I'd even be happy with an over with this yellow. In or over. Makes it difficult. And, and the angle's perfect call, so. for her to play the, the other yellow into the centre bag. <laughs> oh, wow. Well there. Which is what she was aiming for. Try and get that Says position. Left Carol, a tough shot though. Hmm. That's right, because Carol can't back double that red. would think that Mickey now has the opportunity to go out. Black still out in the open. But this cannon not easy. She may be able to get the top yellow in cleanly. Ooh. Ooh. Carol now with the opportunity to back double that red underneath the two yellows. is so detrimental. She needs to get the pace right if she's going a cannon. Overhits it and that yellow travels too far. She may be able to get the momentum off that red ball with the yellow, to, enough to get it in. Now there's the question of position. And she's got to get this right. I think they may, that may be a slight angle in that. If it's too straight, she may be in a bit of trouble here. But she may be able to create the position by coming off the rail first onto the red. Oh, 
more just to sit it in there. Oh. Straight through. Straight through. Oh! That's confidence for you. Has to be. Has to be. Big black. Big pockets. Mm. So. That'd be going centre bag here, Rossi. Smooth. Heaps at top. Centre bag. Yeah. Dead straight for the top pocket, so. Mm. Everyone's pretty quiet. Yep. Center back. Big shot. Whoa. But this is a good result. And that would have been the result that she'd be hoping for if she missed the black. Yeah, Nani's got a bit of a... She's got to be careful what she does here, actually. Mm. So she's been put a now in a position. Tonight. Yep. Absolutely. But that pocket is still huge. Mm. But you're absolutely right. She could go in off here if she doesn't play this right. Okay. Nominating to leave it hard. Oh, she could hit it. She left herself a tough shot. I think she was hoping that the white would... As you know, Rossi, when we try and go for those cuts and try and bring the white back up, sometimes we overhit it and the white dies. Mm. And I think she's probably hoping. Or maybe she thought she had to hit it hard in order to get it up there. Did she put spin on that too? She might have done a small massy around that red to get to the other one. We don't know. Big effort. Big effort. She can cut this in. Pirate Hunter going for the black. Mm -hmm. Even up the score. Again. That's an easy black. So. I think Mickey's got this one in the bag. No, she's just got to be careful not to right overplay thing. it. Doing the right thing, taking her time, just making sure. Mm -hmm. nothing, nothing worse than stuffing up ones like this. Just drop it. Do not overplay this. <laughs> Nine all again, wow, Rossi. There, nine all. Quick break. That time, did the Vicks get ahead that time, Rossi? And were caught up by the SA, or were they going game for game? Game for game. Game for game. Yep. You want to take a break? You want to take a five off? All right, we can take a break. I think we'll take a break. All right. That was, that was a long round. I think <laughs> we need to have a little break. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> we'll be back soon.
loving these two games at the moment, Rossi. <laughs> Game on. You've got uh, the steadiness of Renata and Tracy on this table. And then you've got the ability to, for a huge pot out game on the other table between Elise Mabbitt and and Lindell. And Lindell. Element. I almost said Lindell. Holly. Wrong team. Both girls oh. yeah, used to play for WA. Yes. The original WA yeah, the team. The import when I first export started. game over yes. here. Yes, absolutely. Uh, positive start by Ella there. She's got them all set up. The game's there for her. Mm. Great hit by Renata. Such a smart player. Nice touch by Ella. Linda with the ability to go out. Well, they've all got the ability to go out. They have. We haven't seen we haven't seen a great deal of attacking actually in this match. No, it's been too tight. Too much ability out there. One mistake, and any one of them could go out. It's the beauty of this game. Opportunity oh, for a snooker. Definitely, especially with that ball dying down there on the rail. Yep. Renata getting a little bit lucky there. Almost went in off there. Mm. With another shot to go. Mm. <laughs> Having to yep. possibly go snooker here off the red. Yeah, Lindell doing the snooker on the lace. Could kind of see that happening. Mm. So Renata going a cut Could here. She must be going. No. Mm. Moody's got an opportunity here. Renata being very clever here. If Moody goes the cut, she might knock her right off the right of the center. Straight out of the snooker by Elise. And she leaves Ellie a hard in. shot. Mm. But then again, Ellie's got the opportunity to play another snooker. I think the guys' match is going to start on time somehow. So Moody going the double, I think. It's probably the best option. Putting on top. Putting top on the white. Which she's going to cut. No, she's going to cut. Oh! And didn't go A little unlucky. A bit unlucky what kissing that red and blocking that pocket. It's going to make it a bit tough for her now. That was a huge cut. And Ella gets another snooker. Played for that perfectly. Big battle here. Is that another hook by Elise um, Element? Lyndon Element? Yeah, Ella played that beautifully. Missed the pot, but brought the white down. Right. Huge amount of top on the white, get it right down the bottom and snook it at least again, so. Renata with an out here. It's all there. Mm-hmm. Do you leave it? Great shot by Elise, get out of that snook. I brought the black out. Question is, 
for Renata. Do you leave it to chance or do you go the out? Renata go the out. Girls need to attack here. Well, I certainly hope she does. Got to back them. The They've got to back there. themselves. Mm. And they, these are the girls the to do it, so. Yeah, hasn't got the, the easiest of options. No. She's she really got to opt for another put a lot of thought again. into this. Play off the bottom yellow and hook a lease. Because she didn't really leave herself a, an easy out here. But you never know. You keep throwing me with this hook thing. Oh, hook, snooker. She's gone the hook and overdone it. Amazing. It's very rare to see that from Lyndall. Because she's always so precise. But technically precise. Just keep saying anything can happen in a game of pool. I need to have a game of pool, I think. <laughs> What's happened here? Has she got a shot? Oh, well. Oh. Can we have the Vix take the lead for the first time in this match? Ella's got two shots. If she gets this in one, she's going out easy. If she well, doesn't, she's going out anyway. If she doesn't, oh. easy out by Renata. She's looking to see which is an easy option. 10-9 SA. Okay, so she needs two now to go out. Oh, well, Ella's got it down there. It hasn't sat as, mm. as nicely as she would have liked it to. Obviously, she wanted to go in the pocket the first time. but From a different angle, that black's not so easy. No. Stunned by Ella. Beautiful. That's the shot. Great control. So Ella with only one shot remaining. Just drop it. Nice pace. Mm. On the rail. Ran a little bit there. Too much pace. She looked to hit it so smoothly. It just mm. ran on a little bit. Yes, yeah. Yes. Oh, she had to go up. Ball off the break for for Lyndall Hulley on the on the uh, well, at least table can one. Now afford to double this black, force the white back up the table, and give Lyndall no shot. Yep. Now we've got Lyndall Hulley on this table. Yeah, Lyndall's attack. Hulley's mm. attacking. Mm. Chosen yellow. Numbers online are starting to pick up a bit now, getting close to 200. Played a great pick. shot there. Try and take this pocket. That's a nice leaf by Liz. That's a shot. Ooh, dropped in. Wow. I think she'd be Insurance. happy with that ball having dropped on this pocket. Oh, she's playing. 
She played to drop this one because she was going for the insurance insurance shot on that. Big shot for Ella here. Wanted to leave the white down. May not have gone quite as much as she wanted, but still she hasn't left left anything easy for Elise. Mm, Elise will be looking at it. I think potentially looking at a snooker here, just run off it and leave the white ball down on the bottom rail. Colby giving Lyndall Hulley two shots, taking the ball out of the pocket. Really make her play the balls out. Great. Great attempt by Elise there. Mm, didn't, quite, didn't quite pay off on that instance. No. Ellie's got a quite a quite a straight straight pot into this middle pocket. Mm. Gosh, cool. no, I thought she drawed that for a second. That, that nearly looked like it was going to skip off that jaw, didn't it? Mm. Pressure shot. But you know, this is almost a Lindell element shot under this circumstance. Perfect! And boom, 10 all. I was going to say a piece of piss, but. Oh my goodness. Supposedly can't say that. No, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Far out. <laughs> yeah, good call, Jamie. It's pretty odds on. <laughs> this arena has packed out big time. We've got easily more than a hundred people now. Oh, there's heaps in here. Well, men's final scheduled to start at 10.30, but on oh, 7.30 Perth time, but We've got some unfortunately of the SA blokes. I can't, yeah. can't quite see that happening. Some of the SA blokes are already practising on the tables. I, Ooh, I should have had uh, Danny from the Victorian team wanting to, to say a quick hello to her daughter, Sierra, and tell her that she loves her very much, but I think she might be in bed by now because it's like 10.30 yeah. over in Melbourne. Gonna be if she's not, Mummy said to say hi, so. Colby with an opportunity to hook her back. Very, yes. very tight game, this one. Loving it. Race to 13. We've only got four frames left. And if it keeps going the way it's been going, then you're going to have to have that five-frame shootout. Wow. I can't believe Colby overhit that. And possibly gave Lyndall Hulley a shot. De she's definitely given her a chance to get on onto mm. this dead yellow. Yeah. Yeah. You'll always go the pocket, right? Make sure of it. Secure it. But let's see where this white goes. Mm. Landed well for Colby. She could use this for... Yeah, turn the game advantage. around here. Yeah. Absolutely. Colby gets that red and sits that inside, then... Big opportunity for her. And she can play the one off the centre bag in order to create that angle, create the shot that she needs.
push it. Is it enough? Get. Is it enough? Oh. I think it's going to be out of there somehow. Mm. Yeah. Nice double kiss. that yellow near the black go into that center bay or is that red in the way well, that red's making life difficult at the moment mm. so ninja's looking at getting it out she's going to cut that yep cut the red across break the other red out and she bring this red down here and take control of the pocket again possibly double that red one Oh, that, that's it. Oh, no. It leaves opportunity for Hallie. Oh, maybe not. It's not the easiest of shots. No. She's got to do the cannon. I'm very surprised at that shot because there was an opportunity to double that red, come back underneath that yellow. Yeah. And really attack was. that pocket. But you don't always see every shot when you're standing at the table. No, you don't. Mm. But Colby always attacks, so it's very surprising. Thank you. Certainly be here for a little while. These Colby games are running very another close. Another great opportunity. Mark Gorski. <laughs> Lovely shot by Margie. Mm. Almost a half hearted shot, that one, from Colby. Just didn't quite come back enough. No. She's looking at bringing this red down, take control of the pocket again, leave a hard shot for, for Lindell, making her having to waste one. Lovely shot by Mark Gorski. Just push that yellow out a little bit so she can take, the, take that red across. May have pushed it out a little bit too far. The opportunity is there. Linda can push this yeah. one over, get the centre bag. And she's got, got the angle to bring the white back up, so. Mm. Oh. The pace. <laughs> the pace on that white was That's good. the main objective, get the white up so she can do this, leave that one mm -hmm. set up. Tight squeeze to get that black through the middle there. That's mm. what Linda's looking at. No, I'm not sure about that. I think the black goes in there quite easily. Giving herself the best opportunity for it. Pressure, Rossi. Amazing pressure. Wow. Just 
slightly off cue on that. Slightly, my goodness. Wow. I'm shocked. <laughs> but you know, I wouldn't be taking any chances here. There's an out to be Not taken here. No. There's an out to be done. I'd be going for the out. Be taking no chances. Lovely touch by Colby. Center bag. Middle pocket, bottom pocket. Leave herself an angle for the mm. red into the middle. Mm. Take the white ball up. Ball That's off it. the rail. Yep. Black in the center. No chances. Go the out. Stone. Because you just know that if she leaves Lindell or Snooker, there's every chance Lindell might get out of this. Oh, she's, she's that good at getting out of them. So. She's got to be confident here. Oh. Oh. That could be a costly miss. You know, these two players just played off for the Australian singles, so... Yep. Yep. And then... South Australia 11. Mmm. Well... Wow. Amazing. Dare I say, get out of jail free. Very unfortunate. Got a question of what happens if you foul and snook your opponent? Well, then you... The player has the opportunity to call on a foul snooker. That's right. And if a foul snooker is granted then obviously you have two shots. However, you also have the option of selecting another ball on the table, whether it be the opponent's ball or the eight ball. Sink the opponent's ball that you've nominated, just you've still got your two shots running. Or, foul snooker, you can actually take white ball in hand and take it back to the balk line. So, for Hassan, who's asked that question, there's your answer. Good on you, Hassan, for even asking that question. <laughs> Nani's left herself a tough shot on this last ball. And why do we have the spots on the white ball anyway? Rossi, what's the go with that? Looks pretty on the camera. It looks pretty on the camera. What a shot. That was a great shot, Carol. Huge shot. with Rio at the moment? Most certainly. South Australia 12, Victoria 10. Only the second time in the whole match that there's actually been a two-game buffer. Yes, 
And Hassan, you can call me Roz. Or Rosie. <laughs> Unfortunately, we all snooker ourselves at times. Big game here for Rio. Two big games for the Vix. So the reason why we have spots on the white, as you could just see with that shot, is that yes, it looks pretty, but you can see the spin that a player plays That's on that yeah. white ball. Just like the nine ball. Huge crowd building up in here. It's a huge crowd. What a oh, shot. what a shot, Rio. Well done, girl. Not easy. Not easy from here. There's no real angle on the other red. So is that you getting called sweetheart or me? I'm not sure, sweetheart. <laughs> Bit unlucky for Rio snickering yourself there. No. Vicky the pirate hunter back at the table. Quite what she expected, but oh, so from the SA girl. And so Rio has the opportunity now, and we're talking about a foul snooker, and this is exactly what's going on here. Yeah, she had touch and ball, but nothing touch a cushion. Rio has the option of nominating one of the opposition's balls or calling ball in hand. Bit of a tough call for where her ball's lying. Mm. That's so right. Yep. She's taking okay. the option of the ball that's in front of hers, behind hers. Give it a kick and push hers over. She's got to be careful what she does with the white. Ooh. But you know what? I think she may be able to get underneath this yellow. Knock the yellow out and push her red towards the bag. Position, position she's in. She doesn't want to bring the white out too much, though. No. Very interesting. 
certainly changes the complexity of the game, this one. Unlucky for Rio. We may be looking at an out from um, Joy on the other table. And, of course, if SA go out there, then it's all over for Victoria. Nice shot by Rio. Get her ball out in the open. Puts the pressure back on Taylor. And Joy has missed the shot. Whoa. Back to Mickey. Taylor's going to make the same mistake she made before. No. It's always always tough in, um, especially matches like this, and one of the one of her followers have have put up about uh, bringing Bobby Joe in. It's always a tough call for a captain in a, in a match like this for for the newer players that are left with less experience. She's played outstanding the whole tournament. Mm. But got to, sometimes decisions have to be made and experience. Not a total pressure. For Opportunity here for South Australia. Yes. Quite possibly an opportunity for both South Australians on both tables. Yep. Could see young young Taylor's checking it all out, or I can She's having a look to see if her sneakers. <laughs> Potting posi positions. Yep, gone the sneaker. Looking for that two shots. Mickey's called for a total snooker. Umpire's down having a close look at that one. <laughs> Tough one here for Rio. Mm. Okay, back to Rio. Well done, girl. The problem with leaving an opponent a snooker hoping for two is you've got to leave them a shot that you know they're not going to be able to get their ball with. And unfortunately, uh, she pretty much left Leo a plum shot at getting out of that snooker. Snooker there again, but hasn't quite got her. And of course, the other problem you face too by trying to create a snooker is that you move a good ball that's already in position out of place. She 
has to try and create oh. another snooker and play this yellow under the black. Yeah, well, Rio's, Rio's managed to get that ball, you know, a lot closer, and it's very potable. So Taylor, yes, Taylor but Taylor's needs, got another snooker. He needs to back possibility He's here. Got to back herself here. Mm. Risk you take. It's risk. Definite risk. Spark and the fire getting into the reds. Certainly livened up. Taylor needs to be confident now and steady and make sure of her shots. Last match that, that we played again and she's potting beautifully. That's a nice pop. That's perfect shot now. Mm. I would be could, running that yellow could this down. Be the last frame? I'd be running that yellow down in front of the black and it would if it goes in, she's got posi on this yellow. It didn't uh, bring the white out perfectly. So to go in front of the black. Taken a little bit. Oh, left the gap. Left to hold. Pressure. There's a gap. Left the gap. There's a big gap there. Big gap. But you know what? It's never big on a pressure situation. Nice and steady from Rio. Beautifully played by Rio. Such a professional. Not a bad leave. Not a bad leave at all. Taylor could be looking for... Well, I would say she's got to cut this across that same pocket that the black's at. Yep. She could try for a snooker off this bottom yellow, back up to the other yellow. But she's got to risk losing this yellow. It might even clip the black, depending on mm. the angle, and bring it out. So. Wow. Oh, it's just cut it. She put work on that ride, I'm sure. Do you think? Thought I saw that. Going for the spinning. double back. Mm. Wow. I tell double you back, what. big shot. It's a big shot. But it's there. But what do you put on the white? That's the question. Oh! Yeah, is that on? It's on. It's definitely on. Pace. Pace. And we go! This game is not over yet. <laughs> awesome. Far out. And look at this, Mickey. Mickey got Far it out, out here. Mickey's on the out this? here too. Oh. This is just huge. Man, you can't get you can't get any closer than this. Everything that was predicted about this match. Exactly. Exactly as we said it. Three all, six all, nine all. Will it be twelve all? 
the Reds pulling away and then getting pulled back in in the second round. Oh, yeah. And since then, it's just been frame for frame. Far well, the SA out. pulling out uh, away again, but getting reeled back in. Pressure shot. Yep. Mickey with a bridge shot. Mm. He's done it well. It's stepping stones. All the way. A little bit far. Just a little bit far. But you drop the, the one, run it down to the bottom. And then you've got perfect angle to. I think she'll be taking that. Well, once again, it's a confident shot, isn't it? Yeah. Take the far ball first. Just put in top. Control the white. You've got to control it. Smooth. Oh! Go for the snooker. That was a good hit. That was awesome. Mickey, take my hat off for you for that one. Come on, Joy! Come on, Joy! You know what? Mickey, the pirate hunter. Mm. Joy can still take this bottom one. Clever play. It's thinking. always a tough call to make. Do you risk not going out and play safety? No, you, you play the shot, that's going to get you another shot back at that table. So. But I, I honestly think in that instant, I think Mickey should have gone the out. But it's never easy under pressure. She's got a cut here. Come on, Mickey. Come on, Mickey. Yeah, we agree with that, Carly. We think it was a it was a clever shot. It was, yes. Oh, she's left herself. What do you go? Middle little, bag? A little bit of angle, but yeah, middle bag. Middle bag with the black? With the black, you reckon? Yeah. She may run may run the white down a little further. interesting shot she can possibly snip it but I can't see the pocket because Joy's wonderful hair is in the way <laughs> oh, there's a man crawling around under our legs Ooh. oh she's left herself almost perfect almost Just a touch too hard. She's got to be careful of the in off. Fucking, so um, I just swore again. We may just have a playoff here. We may. Quarter day. And there we have it, folks. It's a playoff. Five frames. Three all, six all, nine all, twelve all. Holy guacamole. Huge. Wow.
so now the team's got to get together and they've got to make the decision who will be those five players. Both teams have to submit submit their list. Who would you put in, Rossi? Uh, settle in, yeah. <laughs> Who would you put in, Rossi, for the Vicks? Oh, well. You're looking. Lindo, Elise, Joy, Renata. I think the big decision is the order. You know, the fix. Mickey, Colby, Rio. Captain Puss. It all comes down to that order. They want those... They want those... You'd have to have Rio in there As quick sure. as possible. Rio, Mickey... That's the big decision, who they're going to put up and what order they're going to do them in. Um, the playoffs, the, um... We've been talking about Rio, Mickey, Colby, Lindell. How many players are there meant to be, Rossi? Five? Five players. Race to three. As I was saying, yeah, the big thing is going to be what order are these players going to come out in? Are they going to go whole hog and try and get those three, three frames in the first three, for the first three players that come out? Or mm. who knows? Phil Bailey just posted up. Why hasn't the next frame yeah, been put up? We were just saying about that. Because we have a playoff, Phil. <laughs> nice of you to join us. Oh, I think, think, think Phil's come in, come in pretty late and he's probably, probably, probably expecting the men's teams to be up. But I, running a bit late mate and it's going to be a little while yet could be all over in in these next three games or it may take to the whole five who knows the way these games have been going all night it's been level pegging Oh, the teams, teams are just submitting their players, getting written up in the book. So very shortly we'll be, be seeing the girls that are coming out. We've got to expect, oh, I'd expect Lyndall Hulley to be first up. I'd say either her and Elise or her and Renata. Yep. Do you think they'll South put Australia. Carol in? has played huge, two huge frames. Do you think they'll put Carol in? Every chance, mate. Every chance. Vix. Vix Lindell will be coming out first. And I would say Nikki. But we're just waiting on confirmation of that. Both team managers are just submitting submitting their players into the president so it's just about to be called out looks like it's going to be Lindell and Lindell just just waiting to get a little bit of hush in the room 
I'm not sure who the other Vic is, but I think it's Rio. Looks like it's Colby. Victoria. Mark Gorski. Linda Lelement. Colby. Mickey. Rio, number five. Right, okay. Victoria get the first break as home side. Renata. Lyndall Halley. Elise Mabbott, three. Joyce Sullivan, four. And Sue Coulthard. They're putting Sue in. Interesting. Yeah. So Margie Gorski to break against Renata. Lyndall Hulley gets the break against Lyndall Lelman. Lyndall Hulley on 78% for this titles. Won five Australian titles. Lining up to break. After 24 frames and nearly four and a half hours, it comes down to this. Five frames. Potentially three, however, mm -hmm. as, the, as this match has progressed, it could, could go right down to the wire and that fifth frame could be the big decider. Or it will be the decider. Margorski put a red in off the break. He's nominating yellow. Potentials there. Lyndall Hulley the same. Lyndall Hulley on reds. Oh, looks like there's a problem. Did she nominate? Umpire on Lyndall oh. Hulley's games. Question. Question nomination. Is it from drama the noise in the crowd? The or, or is there? Interesting. How will this pan out? Okay. Yep. Ellie's confirmed she heard the call. And Mick Delahunty on the sideline. Appreciating the sportsmanship from Linda Element. Still a great shot by Margie. Still a great shot. Obviously, crowds piled in for the men's match. So the women, women, women have got a, got a few people to watch them. But this crowd has been here for a while. Been building for a while. It's been building for a while. But let's look up prime seats at the moment. Renata having a good look around. Margie just missed that, mm. that that soft pot into the middle. Renata got a good chance here. She pushes this red down. Mm. She's got yeah. an option of the other red in front of the other yellow. It's a great shot. She's missed the cut on the red. She Just may go on. the double. And she, she may need that bring the white through so that she, 
for that that mm. second red that's hidden in behind that yeah. Mark's ball. Chances are she could still cut that red. What a lay. Clever shot. Well done. Mm. How's that up? Unlucky shot for Ellie. Two shots to Lyndall Hulley. Maggie with a great opportunity here to Dan. go out. Houdini just got to bring the white back a little bit. For just like that. Nice pot to the bottom corner. Leave herself on the second yellow. I actually would have nominated to cut the yellow near the black, get positive, cut the yellow in the black, and then to cover this pocket. If it dropped, then I would have doubled the yellow. Mm, possibly anyway, but... We've seen the Gorski shots. Still, well left. That's a big shot by Lyndall Hulley. Wow. Still got one shot remaining. Marga's got another go here. Mm. Set up very nicely for her. But again, Balls not dropped. Easy. Being, being replaced. Just take Major dramas up. on the other table. Major dramas. <laughs> I know. That was just sitting right on the edge. It's had to be replaced back onto the table. Support for Mark Gorski. Oh, hang on a tick. Oh, oh. That white hasn't come down very well for her. Almost totaled herself. But they don't call her Harry Houdini for no reason. <laughs> what can Margie pull from this? Interesting. Opportunities here for Renata. Ellie. 
Lovely pot, Elle. It's a great shot by Ella. Hard luck on the posse. Mm. Yeah. She's got a tough call with the with the yellow that's on the bottom rail. I think Renata is possibly on and out here. She's playing for it. Mm -hmm. Certainly playing for it. Yeah. She got perfect angle. Come off that center ball. Solid Set up pot. for the top red. Of course, she might opt for the cannon rather than to create posi she's here been on looking the top at red. It, but sort of hasn't doesn't seem too happy with the idea. I think she's looking to be able to bring the the white through the gap. Say that and take that. Well, mm. interesting. Mm. She's got enough angle on it. Yep. Rather than um, risking losing position on the white ball, That's she's right. opted for a safe shot up and down off the bottom rail. She's got to be careful see. here that she doesn't lose the white and hook herself behind the yellow if she goes the cannon. Not sure whether that. I don't think she it's will, though. No, can't see her doing that. Mm, hasn't left the best position, though. Perfect. That was the risk of the the first ball in the plant bouncing mm. off. It's perfect now to come back round off two rails, set up for the bloke. Two hundred and sixty-five people online right now. Got to put a little bit of work on this, and that to kick. It's got enough. Perfect. Now this is almost a shot for nothing because the opposition will be out of position for the other two yellows. Whatever mm. she does with this play, it's yeah. just an in or over shot. So no pressure for this shot whatsoever. Nice black. One nil South Australia. Shot for Ella. Didn't quite come off as well as she wanted. Touch and go there, but she's got the bit. almost didn't come back enough. Mm. Lindell Harley's got got the long long pot, but perfect opportunity to bring, bring the white back down. So Colby and Elise. Red ball potted off the break. Yep, nice break. Perfect.
good pace for the South Australian. Ball just stuck. And it's come way too far for the black as well. Yeah. That surprised me. Bit of pressure there. And if anyone can do it from here for the Victorians, it's Lendl Element. He's gone yellows. Covering, already got one down covering the black, mm. so. Oh. Great snooker by Ellie. Wendell Holly's going to have to go up and down the table for this one. With them getting and that, it's going to leave, could leave her a, a difficult shot on the black. It's not easy too because the yellow is in the way. Top yellow. So she might have to put really a bit of work on this white. A little bit of work perhaps from this white. No. Foul, two shots. Ellie has two shots. Could this be the frame? Even it up again. Mm. Oh, that's a pretty good lead by Elise or Lindell, sorry, Lindell Holly. Elise Mabbitt now coming out for the SA girls on the Reds against Colby. Chance for Colby to Release take Mabbitt. control of this. Mm -hmm. Ella with two shots. Happening with Lindell. Yeah. Lovely pot. <laughs> Ella's still got two shots remaining. And that's under pressure. Has she got a clear shot with any of those three balls? It's hard to see from here. The bottom, bottom of those two, of the, the bottom two one yellows that are kissing, the bottom one can go. The bottom one can go, but, but the other two get, can't, right? To, for where the wide is, she's got to put a little bit on right, there to okay. get back for the second. She's still got two. Yep, still got two. You'd be... Cannoning the two yellows, pushing the white off the bottom yellow, off the rail, back over, get a shot of centre bag, back down. What do you think? For the lie of the white, yeah. Yeah, white off the bottom yellow. Off the cannon. bottom. Yep. Kick, kick cannon. the white over the side where kick the, the yellow red is. towards the centre. Yep. Out. Have a shot One centre, centre and back down. Lovely shooting by Colby. Big shot. Big shot. Big shot by Colby. I got a feeling that's the same pocket the black's going to go down if she gets this shot right. She didn't hit it That's thick enough. They're still know. sitting all right. She's, she's still got a. I think she hit it from very here, thin. Yeah. Hit it, did, did hit it very thin. They didn't break Left out quite as much as, as she wanted. I think she was a bit worried about pushing one too close to the cushion. So 
Interesting. Safety from Colby. Well, she can still hook her, but you'd want to be going out here. Confidence. What has she got? A little straight. Oh, She's yes, and a bit of pocket. That'll go. In fact, it's almost perfect, so she can come around for the black for the top pocket again. Square a little. Yeah. A little bit of bottom on that white, bring it around for that black in the same, in the same bottom pocket. It's there. Confident shot now. Great pot by Ella. Huge pot. Huge pot, Lindell Element. And I think Colby's on her way to also taking this. One all. Great pressure by the fix. And that's what happens when you Whatever. miss a shot. Whew. You miss a shot before the black. Because we were saying that was Lyndall's game. Yep. Lyndall oh. Hollies. Huge game. Clever play by Lyndall Element. Im important ball here for Colby. She can kick the black out with this. Pot, but make sure of the pot. Did you see the roll? Was there a roll then? I thought it almost rolled behind that red. Going to bring the white up, take the black down the same pocket, or do you reckon she'll kick it? It's almost like she's got a second win now, Colby. Yep, kicked it all right. Shot. <laughs> Which way you go? Well, that that answered that question. Plenty, plenty of clearance. Run, run and the risk of. If she, if she chose In to take over. it across the other pocket, mm -hmm. she runs the risk of the white coming off and kicking that red up. So, And, of course, by going under the red, it's an in-or-over shot. She doesn't have to play it hard. She can just... Percentage shot. Yeah. First time in this whole match, Victoria are in the lead. Yeah. Two one to the Vix. I think you're right, Rossi. The last two frames, and it will be decided. One of these two games. Wow. Two huge finishes by the Victorians. Mickey missed the red, which means it's still open table. Open table for yes. Joy and Mickey. Well, wow. my goodness, what a turnaround! Wow, Joy's actually um, left herself nothing here, just about. That's it. A bit nasty, that white ball's kind of just wedged in between the pair of them. Mm. Re 
Rio and Sue. Dry break. The Kadri from South Australia. Oh. Both their side girls on red. Scott. And looking good. They're looking good, yeah. Mm. Mickey's got the better of the two games, I'd say. For the Vicks. Game on. But you know, Rio is a phenomenal player. She could just come out of nowhere still and win this. Be interesting to see which option Rio takes here. You can see she's looking at the double. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Big shot, girl. Just a little off. But she needed to do something. The Reds are still a little bit tied up up here. A lot of big supporters online. <laughs> a few people finding it a bit hard to to look at the screen right now. You should try sitting here. We've got three screens to look at, two tables. Oh yeah. my God, the tension. Mm. Nice little kick, Sue. Susie got a cut on that red, do you think? I'll tell you what, if she gets that cut... Don't know that she can get quite in on it, you know? Cut for the red to this left pocket. She can take that white away from that yellow. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Potentially left it open. Rio's only got that ball above the middle pocket. That is a potential problem. The rest of them are looking quite open. You've been looking to... Hmm, risky. It's got to be good. Another cover by Joy. Well, I oh, really did well there to kick that ball off. She did, but at the same time, it's made it still a left bit difficult nothing. for a next. Mm. Yeah, difficult for a next shot. I think she would have liked to push that yellow back up here under the spread. She might be able to double it off the bottom rail. I'm not sure from here. Certainly got the um, certainly got the potential to come back down inside this red. Yeah. Mm. Unfortunate. Okay. Ooh. Two shots. 
unfortunately, the white went in as well. Interesting. I believe Sue's worked this out. Looks like she's got a plan. She gets this with one shot. And it's one of those inner over shots. Yeah. Let the white drift out. Joy's come around nicely to kick her other ball. It's a great Ooh. shot. She's got a clear shot. Can't quite see if she if she's got a clear shot on that red. I don't yeah. think she can take it up. I think she she may have to look in the centre, but that's very close. She may be able to play off the other red, but I don't think she's got the centre bump. No. Yeah. She's almost there. Joy's still got a little bit of a problem with this. The ball's surrounded by the red. Mm. Susie needs to play this top red up and then have another shot at the other one. Let she her, goes to her back. herself as, as straight a shot as she can so yes. that she's got good position. I think for she's going to go center her back, so. though. And well, she's got to make sure she don't lose control dead. of the white. She goes centre back, she loses control of the white. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Long. That was a risky shot. That was a risky shot. But she's got the posse under pressure. And she's got just a tiny little bit of angle just to run the white. Down just that tiny little bit for that black. Biggest shot of them all. Pirate Hunter went for the went for the double. Oh, what a that's a good pot. It's it's got to play it off. It's got to come off that yellow though. All her friends from around Australia watching this. We'll say hi to everybody in, in Country SA for her. The country from SA. It's just ahead of that yellow. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Two all. What a game. That was a huge game, Sue Coulthard. And this is it, folks. Comes down to this last frame. Will it be Joy or will it be Mickey? How's it looking for Joy? Can't see at the moment. Look at the crowd. How do you feel? Just about everybody is on their feet. You know what? Joy's SA, also... Whole SA squad standing there. Joy's also as. about... A big pot out Two here. shots away. Two shots from that black. Two shots from the black, wow. three shots from victory. Funny about that. <laughs> <laughs> wow.
beautiful shot. Follow three, take the black in the middle. Yep, absolutely. And it doesn't even have to be a huge follow through. No, it looks like she's bottoming it to take the black in the same Just pocket. Smooth. Oh, putting bottom. Interesting. Yeah. It's a big call. It was a big call. Dangerous call. Do we have an in off here or no? Mm, potential is there. Quiet. Yeah! That's it. Yeah! South Australia win the title. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what can I say? And the crowd goes wild. What an oh. amazing match. That was just absolutely huge. Wow, Rossi. Going for game the whole way through. Privileged to be a, to have been a part of this. Lead, but, oh, how wow. Really got a feel for the Victorian girls. Man, that was such a great fight. After the last three years of being being the title holders, unfortunately this year just one game. That's all it came down to. One game. Wow. Couldn't ask for a better final. So there we have it. So I reckon that's probably a good night from us. And stay tuned, folks, because the men's final won't be far away. Yes. So thanks, Another Rossi. Crack. Thanks, Chrissy. Been a pleasure. Haven't got much of a voice left, but <laughs> how's it go? And boom. All right. See you later. Good night, guys. See you in Darwin next year.
switch it down. Somebody switch it down. They must have. We're going to switch it up. Where, where does it get switched up? No idea. Yeah. Uh -huh.